Welcome back. Uh, this is lesson number two, series of three lessons. Uh, Kevin from Texas. Uh, the first lesson we did was grip um, and his setup, strengthen his left hand a little bit, uh, fix his posture a little bit so he wouldn't be falling into the golf ball so much. So now the, the first thing we need to do is we'll start to address the swing. So um, on the way back, okay, we, we've got to get, here, here's our main goals. We've got to get the face square and we've got to have you working away from the golf ball a little bit. Okay, so the video that you sent me, the face was open and your body and golf club by the time we got to the top of the swing, all the momentum was going into the ball and it was causing us to come over the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about squareness of face. We talked about it a little bit in the last video. Um, so I've got a, I got a face of a golf club in my hand here. So again, this is how the face works. So I get it into the camera a little bit more. So it works, again, we're on a tilted, we're on a tilted circle and it works 90 degrees to my swing arm. So if this is my tilted circle this way, this golf club is going to work, you can see that 90 degrees. So you can see 90 here, 90 there. That's how we're gonna hit it as straight as possible or have most control. What we're trying to get out is the flipping of the face through the strike or coming over the top momentum. So we're gonna learn how to work the face correctly. Now, in order to do that, again, like I said, your right hand's gotta be on, <clears throat> on the side of the club so we have face awareness, all right? So I'm gonna put this glove on so I can explain to you what, how your right hand works because that's really what we're working with here. So again, just like in any athletic sport, okay, this is how the wrist works. So I've got this kind of makeshift glove here. This goes through my, uh, through my wrist kind of bones and joints there. So if I were to hold it up this way and hold this steady, my wrist works back and forth, back and forth, okay? So if I take that into another sport, like basketball, okay? Again, that's how my wrist works, this way. Now, most golfers, here's what they do. They, they've learned to get the toe up here, try to square the face and the toe, toe down over here. So the face is working this way. All right, now let's think about that for a second. There is a lot of timing involved. Let's take it to another sport. If I were to do that in basketball, okay? This is how we shoot in basketball. Can you imagine if I was twisting my forearm while trying to shoot? Again, I'd be the worst history or worst shooter in the history of basketball. Okay? Again, another sport, bowling. All right? If we had to twist our forearm to get the ball to go where we wanted to, again, that would make it that much more difficult. This golf is no different, okay? So we're trying to, again, keep the face on that 90 degree swing arm. And how we do that is how your right wrist moves. So when I do this, this is how my swing feels, just like this, okay? So when I have this glove here, this is how the, this is how the wrist works. So you can see there's no twisting, okay? This is, this is how I get maximum speed out of my hand. See, if I have to try to tighten it, Anytime I add speed and have all that twisting, golf gets really difficult. So, again, first thing we gotta do is get the golf club in your hands. Left hand on the club properly. Right hand on the side of the face, okay? Again, you're gonna sink back. So your hips are, are back a little bit, stops us from going into the club. Now here's what I want you to do. We're gonna work with no, no golf ball at first, okay? Just your right hand, why don't you take the face back and through, back and through. So we're just gonna, we're starting to learn, you know, usually we start with putting, then go to chipping, then pitching, then full swing. So we're just gonna chip and, and pitch a couple. I, it doesn't matter if it's with my eight iron, so it's, see that's square, that's square on the way down. So there, there. So we start to feel how the face works. So again, the face works back and through. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna do is learn how the, how the face of the golf club works. It goes from here, and now we're gonna to start to feel like your right arm gets in the, in the mix. So the, there's two things that we're doing in this second lesson. 
A, we're learning how your right wrist works so the face of the golf club is square. Again, 90 degrees to the swing arc. And now we need to, to work on how your right arm rotates in your shoulder socket. Again, that's why you got need to be soft. So we're working with two things, here and here. Those are the only two things we gotta, gotta think about in this, this, uh, this lesson here. So what do those do? This makes the face square. Now, if I did that the whole time up, and I kept the face going all the way up and see my arm went out and didn't rotate. See the club's probably gonna go a little across the line and the face is gonna get real shut. So we know we don't want the momentum going this way, okay? We want it going that way on the way down for sure. We want momentum and working with the ball. But in order for momentum to go that way, it has to go away from the, away from the ball on the way back so it can go down, so we can swing down from the inside and have momentum go into the golf ball, okay? It's gotta go back to go forward. Yours was going forward on the back swing and it kept going forward, which causes us to come over the top. So, again, with your, your right arm, <clears throat> your right, right hand's gonna work this way. The path of the club on your original swing was great, we just gotta square the face. Path's gonna go this way. Now, so the face doesn't get shut and I keep on my swing circle, this arm is gonna rotate. So again, it almost feels here, it almost feels like my hand is facing the camera. Now it won't be in real time, but it'll look something like this. Yep, so again, in my posture, sink back. The face is, face is out here. See, now my arm rotates. So the club gets over here. See, that pins my shoulder back. That allows the club to go back. The momentum goes back so I can swing down from the inside and get the momentum of the golf club going towards the ball on the way down. Okay, so again, get your grip, get your posture. You're gonna feel like you're sitting back a little bit more. So you're gonna feel your hand work this way and then out. So again, how you practice, Kevin, is that we're, again, we'll set up the swing station. We're gonna tee every golf ball up first. So we have an alignment rod, so we know where we're going, so we can see what the ball's doing. We have this set up. So you can tell what your shoulders, hips, and feet are doing. So they're square or parallel left to the target line. So here, here's how we practice. Do it with no golf ball first, just to get a feel. We're trying to take the collision out of it at first, just so there's, we're not falling in love with the effect of the golf ball. So we have to get the motion first. So again, first with no club. There, there. Second, now you put your, put the golf club in your hands, okay? and start to, start to mimic that. So you can feel how my shoulder gets back a little more, the momentum's going back a little more. Now I'm gonna do it with, you know, you can even crumple up a piece of paper. Wiffle ball is really good. One of those plastic balls. I just have this little bouncy ball here from Junior Golf. So again, we're gonna sit back, feel the club go back and back. I can feel my shoulder joint and feel the momentum of the golf club is going somewhere different now, Kev. And just a smaller swing. So, <clears throat> then we'll get into a real golf ball. And again, when you're practicing, it's only, you know, 50, 60%. If it's seven, eight iron, we're, we're just trying to hit it. 80, 90, 100 yards. We're just trying to get the feeling. We don't want to work with speed. The minute we start working with speed, it's hard to work on, on this swing and our subconscious just goes back to what we're trying to do. So again, we need to feel like we're working at a slower speed. We don't want to work with a faster speed because that makes things a little bit too complicated at this point. So again, here, there, and down. So again, get your posture right. You feel like you're sitting back a little bit. You feel your hand go there. See, the club works away from the ball now. So again, knowing how the face works, knowing we want to get the momentum away from the golf ball, what those two things, how do we achieve those two things? Right wrist and right arm. See, at no point are we twisting the face now. So my hand works back. So we have external rotation. And then if we start to hit it from the inside, see this shoulder moving back and the momentum allows me to hit it from the inside. So again, right hand, upper right arm, square in the face, 
getting the momentum of the club to work back, getting your body to work back um, away from the ball so we can hit it from the inside. So one more lesson and we're home. <laughs>